Okay, now this is question one. Eh? So this is a combined circuit. Now this this one eh, is uh, relatively easy actually. Uh, you should have no problems. Eh? Okay, first we divide this into uh, two sections. Okay, this is one section. Uh, this is another one. Okay, let's call this uh, section one, and uh, this is section two. Okay, so let's find. The resistance of section two, uh, resistance of section two first. Section two uh, is a parallel circuit, so therefore R equal to uh, brackets one over two plus one over six plus one over four uh, reciprocal. Okay, so what's the effective resistance? Use your calculator. Okay, you should be able able to find the answer. Uh, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 close brackets reciprocal so this is equal to 12 over 11 12 over 11 and then uh, section 1 okay section 1 and section 2 are series uh, series uh, so the effective resistance overall, eh, the R is equal to 2 plus 12 over 11. So this is equal to 3, 1 over 11. Oh, okay. Now I see the mistake already. This should be 3. This should be 3. I put 2, right? Okay. It's a callous mistake. This is 3, okay. So it should be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so I'm sorry. I think this should be 1, 1 over 3. 1, 1 over 3. Or uh, 4 over 3. This is uh, 4 over 3. The answer is uh, 3, 1 over 3. Okay, so the answer is uh, 3, 1 over 3. This is for question 1. Eh? For section 2, uh, we can divide uh the resistor into three sections this is one section here another one section here and another one sections here so we have section one two three yeah so let's label it this is section one this is a uh, section two and this is section three now let's see section three first now section 3 is from this resistor to this resistor. Now these three resistors are connected in series or parallel. These three resistors, series or parallel? Series, yes, it's series. Eh? Okay, so if it's series, then uh, the resistance, let's put R3. R3 is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is equal to 9 ohm. 9 ohm. Section 1, Section 2, and Section 3, they are in parallel, right? Okay, you can see eh? here, go to here, okay, uh, it's split, go to here, it's split again. Now, this tree, eh? the connections like this, if you have three resistor connected in this way, okay, uh, it's equal to the con connections like this. This one and this one uh, are the same, and they are parallel. Uh. You connect it this way or you connect it this way uh, are the same. So it's parallel. Uh. So these three sections are parallel. Okay, three sections are parallel. This one three ohm, three ohm. This one's nine ohm. Uh. Section three is nine ohm, nine ohm. Therefore, the effective resistance R equal to one over three plus one over three. Plus 1 over 9. Use the calculator. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 9. Reciprocal. Then you should get 9 over 7. 9 over 7 ohm. Uh, reciprocal. Eh? Reciprocal. So question 3. Eh? We also divide this into 3 sections. Eh? Now these two are in one section. They are series. Eh? And uh, this one, another one, and this one, another one. Uh, let's say this is section one. 
This is uh, section two, and this is section three. Uh, let's start with section three. Yeah? Section three. Can you please tell me what's the effective resistance of uh, section three? Six. Uh? Six. Because it's series. Uh, in series. So six ohm. Six ohm. Uh. Section two and section three. Yeah? Can you please tell me what types of connection it, it is? Series or parallel? Section two and section three. Series or parallel? It's parallel eh? because you see it, it go here and then it split. It go here, it split into two. Eh? Okay, so this and two, these are a parallel. Parallel. So if it's parallel, then the effective resistance R. The effective resistance R equal to uh, one over three plus one over six. Eh? Reciprocal and this is equal to 2 ohm eh? 2 ohm So now we have another sections a big sections here We call this This is a big sections. Okay, let's call this sections uh, 4 eh? Section 4 now We just found that this section 4 this three eh? resistor together the resistance the resistance of this section 4 is equal to 2 ohm this group yeah because these two uh, are parallel so grouped together uh they are res the, the, the effective resistance is equal to 2 ohm uh. so for section 4 the effective resistance is 2 ohm okay now let's see this section 1 uh. section 1 and this this one the whole group here section 1 and section 4 uh, they are series or parallel this one to this one there's no branch right from this uh, from this to this uh, there's no branch right so it's series uh, the connection is this is a series connections so this one 3 ohm this one 2 ohm and they are series so what is the effective resistance 5 ohm yes 5 ohm that's correct the effective resistance is 5 ohm if you circle these trees, is, is uh, if you at the very beginning you just assume that this is one section. That's that's quite hard for you to find the resistance actually. But of course, of course, if you straight away take this as six, uh, and this is three, uh, uh, that's that's fine. Okay, because sometimes uh, some students uh, they are quite smart. Okay, and uh, they are quite sharp. They they they, they take this as uh, one section. Okay, and uh, from here straight away he say, okay, now I I know. Uh, I, I know this is six, okay, because uh, this two uh, series, right? Okay, this is six and this three and these are uh, parallel. So straight away, they, they, they find the effective resistance. One over three plus one over six reciprocal equals to two. Uh, if you are very sharp, you can straight away see this. Yes, you can take this as one big section. Not three ohm, huh? it's two ohm. Because this one, uh, this one, this part, let me redraw this for you, okay? Let me redraw this because sometimes uh, you, you can redraw, okay? You can redraw the, the, the uh, resistor uh, so that it's easier for you to calculate that, okay? Okay, now this one is the first one, this, this 3 ohm, okay? This 3 ohm, uh. okay? Now, when, when you go to this point, it's split into two, right? So this 3 ohm, it go to one point, it's split into two, okay? It's split into two. Uh, the upper part is this one, 3 ohm, 3 ohm. Eh? So there are two resistor. 3 ohm, 3 ohm. 3 ohm, 3 ohm. Eh? Okay. Now these are the, this, this two, eh? these two resistor. This one when it's split here, another one is, uh, this, this is 3 ohm, 3 ohm. Okay. Another one is just a 3 ohm resistor, one 3 ohm resistor. Okay. That is this part. Eh? One 3 ohm resistor, 3 ohm. Now after that, this two branches is joined, rejoined here, okay? So it join here and uh, become one. This circuit eh, and this circuit are the same. This and this are the same. What's the effective resistance? Eh? When current it move, eh? and current it move, now up to this point, current will split. The current will split, eh? okay? So if this is a uh, 10 amp here, okay, uh, maybe uh, not not this one first, okay. Uh, let's say we have another resistor here. 
another resistor. When the currents move to this point, it, it will split, okay? Maybe this one is a 3 ampere here and then 7 ampere go down. Uh, part of the currents will go up and part of the currents will go down, okay? And uh, now why this is 3 ampere and this is 7 ampere? Okay, now this is depends on the resistance of this, this two resistor. If this one, the resistance is low, then more currents will flow here. And uh, this one, the resistance is high, then less currents will go up. So it will split this way. More currents will go to the resistor with lower resistance. This one low resistance, then 7 ampere go here. This 3 ampere go here, okay? This is what happens. Normally, this is what happens. Eh? But if there is no resistance here, because just a wire, no resistor, uh, then 100% of the currents will go down. No currents go up. Ten, all 10 ampere go down. All 10 ampere. After that, uh, after this point, uh, okay, then it will be 10 ampere here, okay? So the current will flow this way, and no currents flow up. So therefore, no matter how much the resistance of this resistor, it won't affect anything. It won't affect the flows of the currents. So it's like this resistance is not exist. There's no, whether there is a resistor here and there's no resistor here, it gives no effect. So this resistance is like, it does not exist there. And therefore, uh, so the currents will flow like there's no resistance. There's no resistance. And therefore, the effective resistance is equal to zero. And we call this short circuit short circuit because the current bypass bypass this resistor bypass this resistor for example give another example okay uh, you have a resistor so the currents uh, suppose the current flow here 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 and here right but suddenly if something connect from this point to this point with a very very low resistance or no resistance uh, immediately all the currents will flow here Bypass, eh? it will bypass uh, this resistor. All the currents will flow here. So it's like there's no resistance. And this is very dangerous. Eh? This is very dangerous because if there's no resistance, the currents can be very, very high. And when the currents be very, very high, uh, it, can, it, will, it will heat the wire and the wire become very hot and it can burn the plastic that wrapped uh, on the wire. And it can cause a fire. It can cause fire. Short circuit can cause fire. It happens uh, immediately. You can see the the white smoke come out. If this happens, short circuit uh, happens. Uh, you can you can see smoke come out. So this one, the effective resistance is equal to zero ohm, and we call this short circuit. Uh. Okay, now this one. Now uh, you should realize that there's a short circuit here as well. Means that the current will flow this way. Currents that uh, will go here. Go here now. No currents go down. Eh? This one, no currents go down. Okay, so the currents will go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Okay, so it is like this 3 ohm resistor is not exist, so there's no 3 ohm resistor here. You can erase it, there's no resistor here. You can erase it, okay, because there's totally no current flow there. Uh, then the circuit becomes something like this, and, and, and it becomes uh, a series circuit, right? It's a series circuit, eh? okay? So the effective resistance is 6 ohm plus 6 ohm. 6 plus 6, eh? uh, 12. So the effective resistance is 12 ohm. Okay, the question says that uh, three identical resistor. Identical means they are the same, okay? Same, the resistance is the same. Uh, when three identical resistor are arranged in series, they produce a resistance 27 ohm. So what is the resultant resistance if the resistors are arranged in parallel? Okay, they tell you that uh, we have three resistors. One, two, and three. And we connect them in series. And the effective resistance 
from this point to this point is 27 ohm so what is the resistance of each resistor yes each one is r eh? okay so what's the resistance so the effective resistance should be r plus r plus r right okay yes nine eh? okay that's correct so r uh three r eh? is equals to 27 eh? so r equal to 27 divided by 3 equal to 9 ohm okay r plus r plus r equal to 3 r 3 r equal to 27 ohm so r equal to 27 divided by 3 9 ohm so each one is 9 ohm okay each one is 9 ohm and this 9 ohm resistor if there are connected parallel they are connected parallel connected parallel this way each one nine right nine yeah so the effective resistance will be nine ohm divided by three resistor and is equals to three ohm or you can of course you can use these methods uh, r equals to uh, one over nine plus one over nine plus one over nine reciprocal you will still get three ohm huh? but as i told you just now if uh, all the resistor uh have same resistance uh then you can use the easy way straight away take the resistance of one of the resistor divided by the number of resistor okay nine divided by three resistor three ohm so the answer is three ohm eh?